eShop Roundup. All right. Yeehaw. We're back with the eShop Roundup. And again, you can uh, watch this on Nintendo World Report TV or NWR TV, uh, the video version, if you'd like. And if you are watching the video version, I just want to let you know uh, this is actually a segment from the Talk Nintendo podcast that we're kind of isolating and releasing as its own video. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, sir. So, so uh, yeah, we got some comments on our last video about uh, what you know, like uh, what they thought of it, and they were really nice, and we really appreciate them. And I uh, just want to let everyone know, like, uh, just exactly what this is is it is us relaxed and <laughs> it, <laughs> looking through the eShop at the new games coming out. It's a fun romp through the eShop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and, know uh, uh, some people were looking for maybe a more researched take on the the eShop here so we can you know do a little bit more discussion on each game but yeah since this is sort of our our fun podcast section uh, a heads up on that's why it's sort of a more light-headed not light-headed but light-hearted <laughs> there you go adventure yeah, yeah. <laughs> although Perfect. you know what i get light-headed from all these games yeah, each and yeah. every week <laughs> like this first game nico para volume one yes yeah, Casey, uh, are you a perv ball? I don't know. I've got the game for you. Hey, hey, hey. We might have some people who want to play this game. They're not all perv balls. <laughs> just you kidding. Judgy McJudgerton. <laughs> Mike Judge. Yep. You, um, you judger. But moving but on well, to the next game There's a girl named here. Chocola. We've got Assault Gunners HD Edition Complete Set for $10.79. It is currently 10% off. Um, normal price eleven ninety nine. Looks yeah. like a, a nice little mech battler game. We've got uh, in these bundles contents. You've got the HD edition of the game, and you also have the extra pack, uh, which is some DLC goodness, I guess. Um, yeah. The game kind of has like the low texture thing going for it, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like, like a mech. PS. It looks sort of like a PS two game. Like, yeah, it does. Yeah. But yeah, go cool. HD. All right, well. Third week in a row we've talked about this game. Is it really? Yep, because it's chapter three. You're right, chapter three of The Journey Down for 1999. I still haven't really read up on this series, but it is very interesting to me. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. The the art style looks interesting. Um, You know, sort of in like the cities look cool and vibrant colors. But Yeah. yeah, I don't really know too much about what the actual... Uh, story is, but it must be pretty big chunks, uh, 1999 per chapter, it seems, so. Well, man, you look at the screenshots in there, I mean, they're very varied and really cool, so. Yeah, the yeah. The, the character design's pretty cool, too. Yep, yeah, so it's an arcade puzzler. Looks cool. Uh, next up, though, we have Yuso. Yuso, Yuso what? Yeah, Yuso Silly. For seven ninety nine, this is a puzzle popping action game, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Pop yeah, those it looks, puzzles. It looks very clean. You yeah, know, oh, yes. I almost bought it. Yeah, do it. I, I, I wouldn't be bad with that. You've probably heard of me, the Adonis of the Stars. Anyway, this is a cute looking game. Next up here, we've got Super Rock Blasters for thirteen ninety nine. Now this. Uh, it sort of looks like an, an Asteroids type game, but it looks more maybe level based. Um, it's co- sort of mm-hmm. cool. You got like the very black and white of the looks like Asteroids, you know, and then you've got these colors uh, coming from the ship uh, that look uh, very nice and vibrant, sort of neon colors. Looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, totally. It's like you a can Geometry blast Wars. your friends to smithereens. I like doing that. For thirteen ninety nine. Next up, though, we have <laughs> Ultra Space Battle Brawl, which looks like it could have been the name for that previous game. Uh, yeah, with a guy with an amazing four pack. Aggression with dignity. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it actually. I guess um, from the screenshots here, it looks like you're gonna have to sort of I don't know destroy the other person's crystal or so, or something. This to looks that. amazing. But it looks like uh, the crystal is sort of protected by um, some other like one level sort of has a real long crystal. Are those chickens with afros? I think so. 
Oh, this game looks crazy. All right. <laughs> Interesting. I Moving like along, though, we've got Squid's Odyssey. Um, normally $14.99. It is currently 20% off for $11.99. Now, this is uh, you're going to build your team of Squid Heroes for an epic turn-based battle against... Oh, no, the Corrupted Crabs, man. But, uh... Mm. Yeah, looking at the uh, the level design here, the art looks really cool with um, like in the towns and stuff, or the the map layouts look pretty interesting. Yeah, I've heard some good stuff about this game. It's pretty adorable. Very nice. What do we got next, Perry? Next up, we have Kill the Bad Guy. Isn't that Plug every video game? Yeah. Just about. It should be, if it's a good one. Does uh, everyone deserve a second chance? Can crimes ever be forgotten, Perry? No. Well, should they be forgotten? <laughs> I like the one screenshot. You've got uh, so like a manhole cover blasting up with water, and someone's flying through the air. Mhm. Mm Interesting. Yeah, yeah. very uh, looks all black and white and gray, and except for the main character here, who's got uh, got some color to him. So. Ooh. Interesting. Six ninety nine. Now, next up, Johnny Turbo's back with his arcade, and we have two crude dudes, which which used to be the name of this podcast. Oh, I love yeah. Until we found each other, uh, two crude dudes. I love it. I love it. Now these guys are some bad boys. Hey, we made it. We've got a big prize. Interesting. This uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it looks awesome in the the best kind of way. Yeah, it does. But very buff. Moving along here, we've got awkward for eleven ninety nine from Snap Finger Click. Now this um just based world. off the images here, some looks sort like of Jackbox. adventure game or is it adventure game or is it a party game? One to six, I guess. Yeah, more party board like. Yeah, okay. It was political correctness gone mad. Oh, uh, uh -oh. the doc. Choose your answer. What part of your partner do you prefer? Their body, their face. <laughs> I'll leave that one up to you, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along here, though, we've 50%. got a game everyone should be checking out, and that is yes. Miles and Kilo from yes, our yes, yes. Uh, good friends over at Four Horses. Um, I can't. I think this one was how much? Do you remember? Seven ninety nine. Oh. And if you hurry right now, you can get, uh, you can get uh, kid, trip, kid trip, baby, for free when you buy it. And oh, guys, this game is so good. Everyone, I have a bunch of friends that have bought it, and they love it. And and they have told me that they love it. And so it's just, it's a great game. Uh, please go get it. It's so f much fun and you can beat it and feel good about yourself yeah it, it's one of those games you can see the end in probably just a couple hours but uh yep it, it's a real fun couple hours and if if you're anything like us you're gonna go oh i need to get s ranks on all these and yep. uh that'll that'll put you to the I test know for a little bit too that it's gonna be one of those annual or biannual games for me where i play through it again oh um, it is you know, it, it is a good it, one it's, it's really fun so but next up Going through to a completely different kind of game, we have Disease Hidden Object, <laughs> which is a great name for seven ninety nine. Now is this what you... oh, looks yeah. I was gonna say this looks like the adventure game that uh, that I mentioned a little too early on that last one, and this is oh, definitely okay. an adventure game. <laughs> yes, is what you see real or just a hallucination? Ooh, a, doc a former doctor wanders in, t in two worlds while doubting himself. Look at those poor little kitties. What, what are they doing? It's sort of interesting, like, the, the, the two screenshots, they show it sort of, like, regular, and then, mm -hmm. like, the sick, twisted version where you got, like, a creepy clown coming up, and, like, this game looks yeah. weird. looks strange. I'm scared, Casey. Can we move on? Well, you might have been square scared, but let me tell you we've got the comfort of it being another week because we've got neo geo served up samurai showdown 5 for yes. 7.99 the old hamster toss price <laughs> look at oh, the hair man look at these this neo is the best geo games. hair of any video game 
I, I pretty much, I feel like you can pretty much say the same exact thing about a Neo Geo game. It looks beautiful. Um, oh my goodness. Look at that one with a huge guy on the left. Oh, uh, with this head? Is that a fighter? Maybe he's that like a gigantic, boss. Yeah. Yeah. He takes up like, like the whole at, screen. Look at the bones coming out of his arm. Mm, and his that back. Is so look, cool. look, you can see his spine. Yeah. And his ribs, too, really. That's wicked. That's scary. Very good. Wow. Very good. Very cool game. Anyway, speaking of cool games, I've heard a lot of good stuff about Mushroom Wars 2 uh, from Zillion Wales. Uh, fast paced, real time strategy. And actually, it's a really cool looking game. Yeah, I love uh, the, 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 the art. The name kind of sounds like. Like, it sounds like mobile game to me mm -hmm. you know but then yeah. you see the art and it's these toadstools that <laughs> they look so epic with their little epic. armor and <laughs> yeah. stuff like he's yeah, ready to awesome. take on the world um i believe yeah. john Rarden has a review up on the site if you're interested in that one well there we go assault Coming runners up. hd edition we already did this uh yeah, this the, the standalone 899 runner what's up assault gunner not runner gunner runner potato potato Moving right, on to the one on. we didn't talk about yet. Ooh, Pocket this one. Rumble from the old Ooh, Chucklefish for $9.99. I think I need to pick this up. It's $9.99. It's only $9.99. And I believe it's online play. And I want to play with you. We should do a Talk to Tenno Challenge on this game. Does it have online play? I believe it does. Are you absolutely positively sure? Well, yeah. I'm... Let's see. Uh, click... Yeah, it says two players, parentheses, online. Near flawless and local. online yep. player. Yep, with GG, GGPO netcode, so there you go. Well, I tell you what, I, really I, think I would not have been interested in this game if it didn't have online, so we might have to look into that. We might have yeah. to look into no, that. It'd be fun to play, right? So, anywho, next, next up, up here, what do we got? The Wardrobe. <laughs> this is from Mixed Bag for fourteen ninety nine. It's a 2D point-and-click adventure game. This is a, this is. Do you, see, click day. do you see the 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 guitar urinal on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Born to rot. That's so funny. Interesting. Um Yeah, is it what kind of game is this? Adventure game? It's a two D point and click. Yeah, adventure, yeah. Okay. Yep. Not my kind of game, wow. but looks uh, it looks interesting enough. It looks very cool. Yeah, it looks very f fun and animated. Next up, some... we've got Rento Fortune Monolith, <laughs> which looks like Rento. Uh, <laughs> Rento. <laughs> I need that Rento, baby. Looks like Monopoly. Uh, yeah, it looks like a a, a hard riff beer. off of the Monopoly uh, game board uh, <laughs> board game here. <laughs> Earthquake hits. Pay one hundred dollars for repairs. <laughs> Pay Rento. <laughs> yeah, pay rento. Nine ninety nine. Uh, yeah. If you uh, if you want Monopoly but don't want to buy Monopoly, I guess you could buy Rento. Or if you have nine ninety nine, you could pay for another world. A whole nother world. A whole new world. Sha <laughs> sha. Uh, world. yes. This is the uh, one of the most remarkable games in the history of video games, apparently. That's a tall, uh, tall set of shoes to fill. Yeah, I've heard about this game so much. It's been released on so many things. Like, I, it was on Wii U, and it looks so weird, right? Is it? It's but funny. It is cool looking. Cause I don't think I've ever heard of this game. Okay, yeah, this is like a very famous game, and it it looks cool, doesn't it? You know, from the screenshots. Looks like something. Moving Very along artistic. here. You don't think that looks cool? Eh, I mean, it looks alright. Okay. Moving along here. Really cool. We got Pato Box for $14.99. Yep. Yeah. Do you it's know? A, it's a this surreal another... boxing quest with a duck. I tell you what, the it's art style out. is amazing. It's literally <laughs> just like black and white. It's okay. What's up? It's okay. <laughs> I'm it is. Kidding. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That big old it's building. Really cool. <laughs> like the the big room and uh, oh man. It looks just like a comic book. Yeah, I like it. Very cool. Interesting. Yeah. What do we got next? Next up, 
Oh, well, well, well. Bomber Crew Deluxe Edition. Game plus the season pass for... It's $24.99, but right now it's 20% off for $19.99. So there you go. Some bo Bomber Crew action. We just talked about that. Cute looking little game, but deceptively hard. Yes. Yes. Oh, movie um, tie-in alert. Oh, <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. Yes. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania 3 Monsters Overboard for $39.99. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I this guess game. if you if you couldn't get your fill in the theaters, you could get your fill here on the Switch. Oh, jeez. It just looks so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just looks really bad. Anyway. You know what? I don't hunting, know if it, I was going to say, I don't know if it looks bad or not, but <laughs> it actually looks pretty hunting cool. Hunting Simulator. Yeah. My thing's loading right now. Tell me about it while it's loaded. Okay, I got it. Well, it looks like you could hunt bears. It looks like you could hunt deer and elk. That cabin looks cool. Actually, yeah, that, that does look cool. Hunt and uh, sim. You know, be great is if, like in this game you could like if it, if you could sit for hours just waiting, and that's a real thing, you know. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but like you can't move your Joy Cons, otherwise it scares the deers away. Yeah. <laughs> you just anyway. <laughs> Jill walks in like, "You all right, Perry?" Dang it, Jill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like in like this stance, like holding the bow and arrow, like yeah. shaking, like my hands shaking. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's amazing. $39.99. Looks cool. If you like hunting. Next up here, we've got The Lion's Song for $9.99, an award-winning episodic adventure series. Man, this is Adventure Week. Yeah, there's a lot of there adventure games. There are so games, many yeah. adventure games. This one's sort of cool. It's got some, like, pixely art to it. Um, very... I don't want to say yeah. monotone, but like not a lot of colors used. Very dark. Yeah. Some looks like some reds or like purple sort of thrown in there to give it a little more yeah, than just the black awesome. and white. But yeah, it looks uh, not looks my so my cool. style of game, but looks pretty cool. Looks very cool. Very cool. Next up here, 99. we have Never Out for seven dollars and forty nine cents. Is this uh, a puzzle? All right. I figured it was a puzzle game, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be trying to mix some, like, yeah, horror like elements first, into it. But, it's uh, like a first-person, like, you have to get out of the rooms puzzle game. One of the rooms here looks like it... I wonder if it would be like... Nah, maybe not a portal-esque kind of thing. I just saw those it kinda, colors. It, you know, but, I mean, it plays like that, you know. It, yeah. It's the same genre. Yeah. 749. Boom, boom. What do we got next? Muddle Dash. <laughs> Muddle Dash. Ooh-wee. Couldn't get cuter, could it? Yeah. It probably could. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you're right. Actually, it is this pretty game cute. looks pretty cool looking at it. it looks what like what a do we know here? And... Multiplayer Octopus Party Madness. Hmm. All right. Looks fun. Five ninety nine, why not? Can't beat a multiplayer but fun for that action. We have the last three here and we've already done one of them. Yep, some more bomber man. Or not bomber man, bomber crew. Too many bo mm -hmm. bombs and adventure bomb. Bombing yeah, adventure. Adventure bombs. Yeah, yeah. What's this week's episode going to be named? <laughs> Something Two with bomb and dudes. adventures. <laughs> Two bombs in a bag. Um, <laughs> next up here, we've got, uh, I guess I'd say one of the bigger releases, maybe? Uh, Shining well, Residence Refrain wise. for $49.99. From Sega. Yes. Liberate the dragon that resides within you. Um, I know David is playing this game for review, another, uh, another RPG, as you would imagine for him. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't say I've really heard too much about this game, so I, yeah, I'm looking, uh, there's a demo, so, ah, well, there you go, you can check it out, boom, for boom, free, and to bring us to the end of the eShop roundup, we've got 20XX. For seventeen ninety nine, this is a action platformer with fluid mov movement, endless replayability, and full yeah, co-op. Yeah, I've heard about this. It's like Mega Man X, um, and it has uh, it's like a roguelike. So I think it's kind of like that a robot named Fight. You know? Mm, yep. It, it yeah. definitely is going for Mega Man X uh, unabashedly. 
Yeah. But that's not but a bad thing. it doesn't thing. have pixel graphics. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, now it's thing. like the new Mega Mans. Or the, the new Mega Man to come. But that's yes. Right. Whew, it only took us about 20 minutes or so, but we did it. We got through the old yeah. roundup. Yeah. Noth Why not? Nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. So uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, of course, uh, check out. But you can always watch us every week here, uh, the eShop Roundup on NWR TV. And I think for the foreseeable future, at least. <laughs> yes. And uh, <laughs> if people keep watching, we'll keep making. And, uh, of course, uh, you can check out our podcast uh, at NintendoWorldReport.com. We are the Talk Nintendo Podcast. So thank you for watching. Yes. Right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you maybe add something to it, but uh, nope, you know. Nope, that's it. Yeehaw.